today we are going to bring you a new series. It's called the MOE Show, and it's going to give you daily news of all the news and transa transactions you need to know. I mean, this is probably going to be one of the best on YouTube because it doesn't just cover all the best players, it covers all the little details you need to know. So, um, I hope you're getting excited because the MLB season is about to start. Uh, the spring training is obviously coming up. I hope some of you guys are going because I am going to actually two games in late March. So it's going to be right before uh, opening day and see the Phillies, the Blue Jays, Red Sox, and the uh, Twins, I think. So that will be fun. So our first topic is that uh, Manny Ramirez signed with the Athletics. Um, I think the Athletics signed uh, Manny Ramirez because, first of all, I mean, they need a slugger. And, I mean, this is basically why they need this guy. Back to the point, though, I mean, I think the addition of Manny Ramirez for the Athletics was a great addition. I mean, he probably won't get that much playing time, but he may add, you know, some power, may get a couple home runs there and there and there for the Athletics. So our second topic is that Raul Banyas signs with the Yankees. Um, they signed Raul Banyas because they were in need of a left-handed hitter. I mean, their left-handed side was not that good last year. So I think the addition of Ibanez could do them good this year, but I think we'll retire after this year. And this is the reason why I think the Yankees got him. I mean, he has a lot of power. Hello, and the third thing that happened today so Chris Carpenter from the Cubs, not the Chris Carpenter you think from the uh, World Series champion 2011 Cardinals, is getting traded to the Red Sox, back from the Cubs. Um, it's an addition for the Red Sox, but it's not, you know, the big Chris Carpenter, one of the uh, really good pitchers on the Cardinals. And our last topic that we're going to be covering today is that um, Bobby Jenks of the Red Sox is going to be placed on the 60-day DL today. Um, I'm not sure what the injury is, but he is going to be placed there and probably won't be coming back until, I'd say, you know, April, May, probably May and June, something like that. So, uh, those are all the main details that have happened today and yesterday. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want a spring training schedule link, you can just go right down here in the description. And I hope you enjoyed, and we will be doing this almost daily, every day, so I hope you enjoyed. And that is the first edition of the MLB Show. Thank you, and have a nice day.